bless you. Thank you. Well, I didn't know about that birthday stuff you guys had planned today. Because I have something planned. I was going to ask you, well, I knew maybe something, one or two of you had an inkling. And I was asking, anybody know whose birthday it is today? <laughs> Well, that's right. My name is Rod Parson. And I want to thank you for coming to my birthday breakthrough. Because it was on January the 13th in the year 1957 that God brought me Rod Parsley into the world. And he brought me into the world to be a blessing. And I want to thank you and may God bless you for being here for my birthday breaks. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> it's Rod Parsley's birthday today. <laughs> Rod Parsley was born on January the 13th, 1957, the exact same day I was. <laughs> so we're both, I'll save you from having to do the math, we're both 49 years old today. <laughs> Somebody's like, no, no. Margaret's like, no. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not bad enough. Uh, well, 62. We're both 62 today. Rod Parks and I are 62 today. Hallelujah. So we can say with the shirts. On January the 13th, in the year 1957, two of the greatest gospel preachers came into the world. Well, him for sure. May I just go to best we can with what we got, amen? Amen. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I found that I, I, I was watching him one day. And it was, you know, this broadcast, you know, and, uh, said it was his birthday. And then when they heard the year, I'm like, <laughs> so Rod and I are both born January 13th. And, and what I love about it, what? What is the number 13 symbolized? The devil. Right? The what? what? It, the devil. Yes. Yes. Right? 13 is an unlucky number. Yes. Right? Yes. Right? Yes. Um, that's why when you go into a building, there's no 13th floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at any elevator, it goes 12 to 14. Yeah. Why? What, where do they get that from, the Bible? Because it's Revelation chapter 13 that is the devil and the Antichrist coming to take over the world. Amen. So 13 became associated with the devil and bad luck. Yeah. I'm not sure a person of science. Like NASA. Because NASA, they're scientists. They don't believe in, in the devil or religion. So, so when they were doing the Apollo moon program, they had Apollo 10 and Apollo 11 and Apollo 12. And they go, we're not superstitious. We're not going to skip 13. We're not going to do like they do in all the buildings. We're not going to skip Apollo 12 to Apollo 14. That's just goofy. Yeah. We're going to do Apollo 13. Amen. And guess what happened? And guess what happened? Yeah. Houston, yes. we have a problem. <laughs> That's right. yes. Boom. Explosion. Mm -hmm. That was a miracle with their science and ingenuity. They were able to bring those guys back alive. Yeah. Absolute. I say miracle, but you know, miracle of their ingenuity and all and uh, but see um, spiritual things are real yeah. yes. the devil's real yes. right. yeah. amen yeah. you don't mess with the devil nope. oh. right we do. right you, 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 you don't give the devil an open door I was uh, I was watching a, I think I talked to a Dave Ramona maybe it was or I forget a couple weeks ago I, I watched a video on YouTube about uh, they're they're called Navajo Rangers. Oh, yeah. What they are, they're Navajo Indians, but they're they're like police. They're they're Rangers, um, and well, they're different than the police because they're Rangers. They're like 
They're up, they're up on the reservation, the huge one that's here in Arizona. I think it's the biggest one in the nation. I forget, they, they give the, I'm, I'm watching this video, but they give the dimensions and all that. Beautiful country up there. Uh, just amazing. Rivers and, and, and some of the most beautiful country in Arizona. And, and, um, but what they do is, is they get called in for stuff, anything from a rescue, uh, they help fight fires, to when unusual things occur. They get a call. Things the police don't want to have anything to do with. Okay? Lights in the sky. Back the night before the Phoenix lights, right Jim? Eyewitness right here of the Phoenix lights. The night before, they saw the same lights up there on the Navajo Reservation where one of them lives. He went out and, you know, he lives in a little community and everybody came out, put their lawn chairs out. They were off on their right. They didn't go right over them. But they were off in the hair. They were just kept going back and forth. Um, and I'd like to take time to talk about some of the other occultic stuff, right? Demonic stuff that, that, that they encounter in their travels as, as Navajo Rangers, right? But they did say this. They said, let me tell you something. They put a picture of a Ouija board. They said, let me give your parents a warning. Do not let your kids. This is not a game. We have talked to several people who know. So when you start, when you start engaging with the Navajo witch doctors and people like that, yeah. they know stuff. Yeah. They know occultic stuff. Yeah. And as we've been told, it is an open portal. Yep. What the Ouija board is, is an open portal. What that means is there's no filter, unfiltered, unfiltered portal. There's nothing to keep block. You have no idea what's going to come through that thing. That's right. Right? Yeah. He says, look at this. And he had a picture. He says, we found this in a, in a store, like a department store. It's a Ouija board, but it's in pink. And it has a little pink heart on it. They're marketing it to your little girls, to your daughters. Look at that. Trying to get them involved in the occult. So, this stuff is real. You don't dabble in it, don't mess with it. So, 13 has always been associated with the devil. And you're the only Friday the 13th. I mean, they made movies called Friday the 13th, right? So, I love that I'm born on the 13th. Because I'm like, devil? Yeah, like that. <laughs> It's my number now. I'm taking it back. Right? It belongs to Jesus. Amen? It's not your number anymore. No, it's God's number now. Because I got it. I'm a child of God. And I'm born on your day. And you better work out. Yeah. But you're under my feet. And I'm taking that right. So I love it. Rod Parson and I both born on the 13th. Anyway. Praise God. Having fun. We're having fun now. 